From out of the West comes Red Rider, America's famous fighting cowboy. What they told me, little beaver, ride fast and keep low. There's hot lead whistling and scorpion gulps tonight. You bet you, Red Rider. Get along. Get him up. Get it. Come on, Thunder. Ride on, cowboy. The Adventures of Red Rider. Before we join Red Rider, here's another adventure. It's really a taste adventure because I'm talking about the first time you taste rich, super fresh Langendorf bread. The bread baking experts judged America's finest. Yes, folks, that's a taste thrill for anyone. Langendorf bread is so wonderfully fresh, so smooth, fine, and appetizing. One bite just naturally leads to another. And that's all right, too, because energizing Langendorf bread is mighty good for you. You see, Langendorf bread is made with dextrose, the world's greatest quick energy food. And it supplies essential vitamins, carbohydrates, proteins, and minerals used by the body for energy to help build muscle and tissue. So the more fresh and tasty Langendorf bread you eat, the more energy you get for work and play. For goodness sake and for energy's sake, make America's finest bread your daily bread. Get fresh and tasty Langendorf bread at your grocer's tomorrow. late afternoon in Painted Valley, and Ching Hao is out in back of the ranch house taking in clothes that have been drying on the line. He looks up in alarm as two horses approach at breakneck speed. Slightly in the lead and dodging like a jackrabbit is Little Beaver on his wiry pinto papoose. And close behind him is Red Rider on thunder, whirling his lasso and shouting, Hit him off, Ching Hao, stop him! Look it out, oh, wash tub! Oh, it out, oh, wash shamana! Oh, you kick it over, wash it tub! Grab Little Beaver, grab him! No, no, Red Rider! Oh, you can't wait, don't get go last. You knock it down, clean the sheet, make it tell them. Look out, Jing Hao, I'm gonna rope Little Beaver. <sighs> Got him. Turn him loose, Red Rider! Let him go! Oh, oh, terrible. Oh. What, what make a bad smell? All the same like a skunk pole cut. <laughs> it's Little Beaver. He shot at a skunk with his bow and arrow. Ah, skunk shoot at me first. I'll say he did, and he didn't miss. Oh, what's the matter, you little beaver? You smell it all the time. It's too bad now. Oh. Go away. Go away. Long way. <laughs> now, never mind that, Ching. What we've got to do is give him a good bath and bury his clothes. No. No bathe them. Ching Hao make him water too hot. Make him soap and I. Oh, me washy. Washy sock can do. Washy shirt can do. Washy plants can do, see? But uh, no washy skunk. <laughs> Ching Hao, go back China. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> hey, Ching, come back here. Me no skunk him. You only say me skunk now, see? Goodbye. Get a tub of water, Ching. Oh, more better. We take a closey pin. Hang little beaver up on the closey line. Let the wind blow on him for two, three weeks. No, more better. We put clothes bins on our noses and go to work with plenty of strong soap and hot water. No, please, Red Rider. No wash him too much. Pretty soon come him rain. Me swell me smell him good. You betcha him. I'm sorry, little partner, but... Say, whoever that is coming to see us is in a powerful hurry. And Mr. Bruce, is some Jane Papa. I believe you're right at that. You've got mighty good eyes, little beaver. Oh, the young William of all ain't singy. Oh, looky, looky. Come, horse. More dirt kick on a clean laundry. Howdy, Mr. Bruce. Something wrong? Yes, Red. I'm glad I found you. 
I've got to go back to Millersville in time to catch the midnight stage. Why, what's the trouble, sir? You look pale as a ghost. Listen, Ryder, not much time. I've got to get to the state capitol tomorrow morning. I want you to look after Jane. That is, when she comes back. When she comes back? Yes. Where is she? What's happened? It was this afternoon. I was in my office in Millersville, alone, when the door opened and a man walked in. You, Bruce? Yes. What can I do for you? Plenty. I'm a friend of Ace Hanlon's. Then you're not welcome here. Get out. Take it easy, Pop, and you'll live longer. Why, you... Keep away from that rifle. Shame to spoil your rifle, Pop. Now sit down and be a good little boy, or the next shot will spoil you. I... I said sit down. Guess I haven't any choice. All right. What money there is is in the safe there. This ain't no stick-up, Pop. This is just a friendly little visit. What do you want? I've just been talking to Ace Hanlon. Ace Hanlon's in jail? Yeah. That's where I saw him. Maybe you'll get the idea better if I tell you just what happened. You see, I went into the visitor's room and we were... You the one to see Hanlon? Yeah. Here's my pass. Okay, sit over there. You got five minutes. You can talk to him through that wire grill. Ah, oh, let's handle in. Hello, Scarface. I knew I could depend on you. Yeah, you can always depend on me, Ace. Yeah. Well, we haven't much time. Listen, I'm getting out of this place and you're getting $10,000 for getting me out. You got a plan? Certainly I got a plan. It's surefire and it's foolproof. Okay, let's have it. When you leave here, catch the first stage to Devil's Hole. Yeah. Go to the Silver Dollar Cafe. That's my joint. Yeah. Go to Smokey Link, the bartender. I've written him and he expects you. He'll introduce you to my gang and show you the hideout. Okay, but what's the plan? Well, I'm getting to that. There's a school teacher named Jane Bruce. Daughter of the guy that had me put in here. And also the guy who's going to get me out. Yeah, but how? He's going to the governor and confess. Confess? Yeah. Confess that he framed me. That he's the one that committed all the crimes he accused me of. Then he comes in this dirty hole and I go out. That's simple enough, isn't it? Yeah. Only what's going to make this guy confess? Didn't I tell you he has a daughter? I ain't hurting no women. I don't want her hurt. All you do is wait on the road and meet her on the way home. Tell her that her father's fallen off his horse and hurt himself. She'll go with you all right. Yeah, I get it. Then I call on this bruised guy and persuade him to confess. Huh? Exactly. Only remember, no matter what happens, the girl's not to be harmed. Ah, you're as good as free right now, Ace. All right, Anything sir. Else? Time's up. Uh, there's a troublesome cowboy that's a friend of the Bruce's. Look out for him. Any objections to harming him? Hardly. If you fix him for good, there's an extra 2000 in it. Did you hear me say your time's up? All right, all right. I'm going. You don't have to holler at me. I can hear you. Yeah, so you know now why I'm here, Bruce. And don't try any funny business. I still got you covered. You. Where's my daughter? I wouldn't care to say. But she'll be back home the same day Ace Hammond comes back in the pen. You dirty, rotten cowards. All of you. Never mind that. Are you going to tell the governor you framed Ace and get him pardoned, or ain't you? That's the story, Ryder. I've got to go now. Catch the stage. I just wanted to know that you and the Duchess would be looking after Jane until I come back. I'll do more than that, sir. Now, wait a minute, son. Keep away from Scarface Davis. He's a cold-blooded killer, and he means to get you. I've thought the whole thing out, and my way's the best. Well, I'm riding now for Millersville. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Maybe his way is the best. But I got other ideas. Here, Thunder. Here, boy. Oh, uh, Ching Hao, tell the Duchess I'm eating supper at Devil's Hole tonight. Wait, Red Rider. Me go on, too. No, no, little beaver. I'm sorry, but I'm riding alone tonight. Come on, Thunder. Out, Thunder. We've got a long way to ride, boy. What's the matter, Thunder? Oh, boy. Stone in your hoof? Oh, so that's it. Yeah, I hear him, too. This little beaver and papoose, all right. Uh, you waiting for me, Red Rider? It was Thunder's idea to wait, not mine, little beaver. 
Now, I thought I told you to stay at the ranch. Red Rider got him heap trouble. Little Beaver come, too. Help him, Red Rider. I'm sorry, Little Beaver, but you'll have to go back. You can't come with me tonight. No want him because smell him like skunk. No, it's not that, little partner. It's because I don't know where I'm going or how long I'll be gone. I'm riding far and I've got things to do that, well, anything can happen. Oh, come, don't come. Me help make it happen. Huh, Red Rider? Will you promise to obey orders? You betcha, Red Rider. Honest Injun. Then prod up that pinto and get going. Come on, Thunder. Get him up. Don't tie them. You stay on Papoose and hold Thunder's bridle. I might come out of there in a hurry and want to leave quick. Got it? You betcha. Him. Hush him. Shh. Easy, boy. Hush him. Howdy, Smokey. Huh? Oh, look here, Red Rider. What do you want? Two roast beef sandwiches. And make them right here in front of me so I can see what goes into them. Oh, uh, sure. Uh, yes, nice and tender, too, my roast beef. <laughs> and mustard? No, just salt and pepper. Ketchup? No, just salt and pepper. Coffee? No. That milk fresh? Oh, it's this morning's. Give me some in a quart can. Oh, you taking your vittles with you? Yep. Now wrap the sandwiches and, uh, oh, and put in that box of cookies. Uh, oh, <laughs> Anybody to ask me? I see you look like a picnic lunch here for one of the fair sex, maybe, huh? Nobody's asking you. Here, take it out of this. There you are. Fifteen cents change. Yeah, a little drink? Of what? Uh, this here. Oh, it's good stuff. On the house. I don't use it. Well, I heard you didn't, but You I... heard right. Well, all right, if you feel that way about it. Then. You got what you come after, so... What uh... makes you so sure... Well, uh, what else you want? Information. Yes, such as what? Such as uh, who the long, dark-complected stranger is. The one with the scar on his face. I don't know who you're talking about. You want me to come over behind that counter and refresh your memory? Now, 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 wait a minute. You wouldn't mean Davis, would you? Yes. Scarface Davis. Well, I don't know. I've just seen him in here a couple of times. Where is he now? Well, I don't know. How do I know? This place is pretty deserted tonight. Rest of the boys have business somewhere else? How'd I know? Business ain't so good since East got sent away. Speaking of business, you ever try to mind your own business? Yes, often. And keep your hand away from that butcher knife, Smokey. I said keep away from that knife. Now get up. Without the knife. Yeah, I'm getting up with the knife, Ryder. Well, you asked for it. I'll toss the knife out of the window before you get hurt. It's mighty easy to hurt yourself playing with knives that way. Now get up. Oh, I can't. Let me alone now, will you? I didn't do nothing to you. Let me alone. Then I'll lift you up. Now listen, Smokey, and listen hard. I'm going to keep picking you up and knocking you down until you tell me what I want to know. Oh, no, Ryder, don't hit me again. I'll talk. I'll tell you. Now don't hit me. I can't stand it. I got a weak heart. You've got weak knees. Now, where is Jane Bruce? Oh, I don't know. Honest, I don't. Are you going to talk? Oh, yeah, no, no, don't hit me. I, I'll tell you. She was Scarface. Where? Up there. If I tell you, you won't hit me, will you? I, I didn't have nothing to do with it, honest. Tell me the truth and I won't touch you. Now, where is she? You, you promise? I've never broken my word yet. Now, start talking. Well, she's in a cave with the head of Scorpion Gulch. Davis and Scarface and the rest of the boys took her up there. They, they didn't hurt her none. And they're going to turn her loose just as soon as... As Ace Hanlon gets out of prison? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Hey, where are you going? You can't go up there. Why not? Well, the boys got the entrance to the ghost garden, that's why. You get yourself killed and mess things up to everybody, that's what you'll do. Now, you keep out of this. They'll send her back in a couple of days. I'm bringing her back tonight. And you stay here and don't try warning her. I'm telling you, Ryder... Scarface Davis is a killer. You won't come out of Scorpion Gulch alive. We'll see about that. It's all right.
right, little beaver? Here. Stick this food in your saddlebags. We ride, little beaver. We return to the adventures of Red Rider in just a moment. Boys and girls, I know you all want to be strong and active, like Little Beaver and Red Rider. So be sure to eat all of the good, nourishing food your mother prepares for you. And ask your mother to try fresh and tasty Langendorf bread the next time she goes to the store. You see, mothers, extra delicious Langendorf bread is a grand source of extra energy that everyone needs for pep these days. Every tempting slice of this finer bread may be used by the body for energy. Yes, and to help build muscle and tissue. Then, for extra energy, Langendorf bread is made with dextrose, the world's greatest quick energy food. So take the tasty trail to added energy for the whole family. Serve plenty of fresh and tasty Langendorf bread with every meal. Enjoy it plain, toasted, and in sandwiches. It's the bread that baking experts judged America's finest. And with every energizing fresh and tasty slice, you'll be glad you made America's finest bread your daily bread. For goodness sake, get a delicious loaf of Langendorf bread tomorrow. Things have been happening fast and furious at Painted Valley today. First, Little Beaver had a losing argument with a skunk. And before he could be scrubbed clean, John Bruce, Jane's father, arrived on the scene with startling news. Jane was being held prisoner by Ace Hanlon's gang. Her release had been promised only if Bruce would falsely claim that he had framed Ace and that he actually was responsible for the crimes that had put Ace behind bars. As we join them again, Mr. Bruce is on his way to see the governor... Red Rider and Little Beaver are on their way to Scorpion Gulch, where Jane is held prisoner. Why are we slow him down, Red Rider? That's Scorpion Gulch, just ahead. See those two big rocks at the entrance of the gulch? We see them. We think them bad men's hiding behind rock. Just what I figured, too, Little Beaver. Perfect place for an ambush. But they won't be expecting us. Oh, we ambushing them, huh? No, not exactly. We're going to use an old Indian trick. Just about dark enough for us to get away with it. Me no. Horse hide and man trick. We'll ride low, just hanging on the sides of our horses. In the dark, they'll think it's a couple of wild horses making a break up the gulch. But by the time they find out who we are, we'll be out of range. When we start. Now, stick right behind me and keep low. Come on, Thunder. Hit him up. here in this ravine and go the rest of the way on foot. We're close to the head of the gulch now. Then can bad men try follow up here? Not in this rough country. They'd be afraid we'd hide behind a rock and ambush them. Oh, bad men's big and coward, huh? That's right, little beaver. Wherever you find a bad man or a thief, you're sure to find a coward. Wait, Red Rider. Smell them smoke. Campfire. How you can smell anything is beyond me. Me used to skunk them smell now. Well, I'm not. And you still get that bath when we get back to the ranch. Uh Uh-oh. You're right, little partner. There is a campfire up ahead. Mm, Three mans. Sit them by fire. Yeah. And that's the cave about 20 yards behind them. Cave where keep Missy Bruce? Must be. I don't see any others. How we got them close so bad men's not see us. Well, I've got a plan for that, little beaver. You see that ledge just above the campfire? We see them. Well, there's some bushes growing along there. But they're not very big. Me not very big, too. Well, this is one time that's going to come in mighty handy. 
Now, you think you can slip up there and get past that campfire without them seeing you? You betcha. I'll be covering you from here. When you get there, see if you can hear what they're saying. And if this is where they've got Jane, you signal me with your coyote call. Me do them. Oh, wait a minute. Then get behind that big boulder up there and roll down a small stone. That'll attract their attention long enough for me to get in close to them. You betcha. And you stay behind that boulder till I call, understand? Sure. Me go now. wasn't shooting we hear the wild back Scarface. Yeah, I'm sure. It's quiet enough now, ain't it? Yeah, that's just it. It's too quiet. Yeah, all them bugs and crickets real close to us is stop making a noise. Ah, you country hicks, give me a pain. Getting scared just cause you can't hear a bug yelp. You get to noticing things like that out here in the hills. We might not know much, but we know some things. Ah, you didn't know enough to spring your boss out of the pen, did you? No. He had the right to Frisco and get somebody down here would have had a little nerve. It ain't that we ain't got no scar faces. Well, you you ain't never come up against that red rider yet. Yeah, I'll see. That guy's poison. He ain't human. Yeah, he sure won't be human long if he comes messing into my business. But that gal's a friend of his we got tied up in the cave. Yeah, and he's got a habit of finding things out. I mean... Oh, shut up to both of you. Whining like a couple of babies. I left word for this red rider to stay away. Told her old man to tell him there'd be trouble if he or anybody else tried to butt into my business. And I meant it. That's why you got that shotgun tied up there in the cave with a string going to the trigger? That's the idea. Yeah. But if anybody goes into the cave and hits the string, the gun will shoot the gal, not them. Yeah. What good's that going to do? Plenty. It'll teach these yokels around here that when Scarface Davis says lay off, he means it. I told him not to try and get that girl back till Hanlon was out of jail. And I meant just that. Hey, listen. I don't do you nothing. Yeah, up on that ledge there. I saw one of those bushes move. Whoever it is is going to get blowed wide open. Wait, wait. Don't shoot. I smell it. Here. Suffering cats don't shoot. I smell it, too. Smell what? Have you guys gone crazy? No, I ain't crazy. It's a skunk. Sure. Don't you smell it? Yeah. Yeah, I smell it now. Sure. It's a good thing you didn't shoot it. Yeah, it would have fallen right down here on our bedrolls. When it comes to skunks, don't mess with them. Mighty near as powerful dead as they are alive. Yeah, it must have gone now. The bushes have stopped moving. Yeah. Hope it don't go into the cave. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing but an old coyote. Hey, what's that? That ain't nothing but some little old rocks rolled down on the side of the gully. Hey, get your guns. I'm going up there and investigate. You go messing around in them bushes and you're going to meet up with that skunk. Sure, there's nobody up there. Only the skunk digging up bugs. Dislodge some rocks. You better look this way and keep your hands off those guns. Huh? It's Red Rider. Yeah, the famous fighting cowboy, huh? You'll be Davis, I reckon. And you'll be a fool, I reckon. You haven't a chance, Ryder. There's three of us. And there's 12 bullets in my two guns. 12 goes into three four times in this kind of arithmetic. Oh, yeah? You ain't talking to one of these local hicks now, Ryder. I see you edging around behind me, Monk. Stand still I'm or... I'm standing. I'm dropping my guns. I'm not telling you again, Jeff. Okay, Ryder. I don't want no trouble. Come on, Jeff, drop them. I'll drop you. you. Try to pick up those guns, Davis, and my next two bullets are going to hit your shoulders instead of your guns. Now, Monk, pick up all those guns and throw them into the bushes. Down the hill. All right. Pick them up by the barrels. Go on, throw them. Well, that's as far as I can throw them. All right, Davis. Where's Miss Bruce? Well, you'll never see her unless you turn around and get out of here and fast. A fish usually convinces your kind better than a gun. Now, where is she? Why, you dirty... All right, come on, Davis. Get up. We're just starting. Get him, Monk! Oh, you did manage to get behind me, huh? Oh, come on, Jeff! Get him! I'm going to Kind of soft, aren't you, Jeff? Yeah, this rock ain't soft right now. Neither up. is my fist. Come on, Davis. Get up. Both of your friends are taking a long nap, but you're still awake. Yeah, it'll take more than you to put me this. All right, little beaver. They're all asleep. Come on down. Little beaver, where are you? Little Beefy, are, are you there in the cave? Jane! It's as dark as a coal mine in here. Red Ryder, stop me. I'm coming, Little Beaver. What? Red Ryder, Red Ryder, you hit him string. Make him shoot gun. A gun trap? Jane, where is she? Jane! No can talk. Got him gag tied on face. Where? Oh, oh I'm, I'm 
sorry. I didn't mean to step on you, Jane. Here, let me get that thing off you. There. Oh. Are you all right? Oh, yes, I think so. You're not. You're hurt. No, I'm not hurt. You just knocked the wind out when you stumbled over me. Little Beaver crawled in and untied my hands and was trying to drag me out. Sure. Me drag him low on ground so gunshots no hit him. Here, take my arm, Jim. Right. It's rough going in here. You step up here. Mm-hmm. There's a boulder. Now, around this side, there. Oh, I can see the entrance ahead. Me lead him way. Outside them cave now. Oh, look at those stars. I don't think I ever really appreciated them before. Look, Red Rider. Bad man's get him up. Run away. I see him, little beaver. Let him go for now. I'll settle with them later. Can you walk all right, Jane? Oh, I'm all right. Just a little nervous. <laughs> you wouldn't be in that dark cave and all. Well, I know it sounds funny, but I wasn't really frightened until the skunk came in the cave. Skunk? Yes, just a few seconds before little beaver. I uh, couldn't see it, but I didn't have to. And tied there in the dark, knowing that awful animal was coming closer and closer. <laughs> well, it wasn't funny. <laughs> I can still remember. That no skunk um, That me. That's huh? right, Jane. Little Beaver had a fight with a skunk today. <laughs> oh, good gracious. No more fight him with more skunk. Skunk him too strong medicine. <laughs> That's a fine idea, little partner. Well, here we are at the horses. Thunder, you'll have to carry a double load tonight. Me ride him with you, Red Rider. Let him her ride him pony. Nope. You ride Papoose. Why me not ride him with you? Two reasons. The first one is that when we get out on the main road, I'm taking Miss Jane to the ranch for hot food and some rest. And I want you to ride into Millersville and tell her father he won't have to take that midnight stage. That Jane is safe at Painted Valley with the Duchess. Me do him. What other reason? Yes, what's the other reason, Red? Well, you didn't have a fight with a skunk today. <laughs> All right, Thunder. Hit that trail. Come on, Thunder! again toward Painted Valley goes Red Rider, but his stay with the Duchess is not destined to last, for only a day ahead lies another adventure. What will it be? Listen for the next exciting episode of Red Rider. comes to you each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday over these same stations. Tune in again on Thursday at 7.30. Red Rider is presented for your enjoyment by Langendorf, makers of the bread judged America's finest. For goodness sake, get a loaf of fresh and tasty Langendorf bread at your grocer's tomorrow. Health defense is an important part of our national defense program. Physical and mental fitness enables us to do our bit and helps keep morale high. Every one of us can help our fighting forces fight harder by enlisting for civilian defense, Red Cross, USO, and other important activities. We can help equip our Army, Navy, and Air Force and save for our own future needs by investing in defense bonds and stamps. Yes, keep physically fit and do your bit. Langendorf bread containing dextrose for extra energy plus vitamins, minerals, proteins, and carbohydrates will help keep your energy up during the trying days ahead. Red Rider came to you from Hollywood. This is the Blue Network. 